Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm finally going to show you how to build a Minecraft client from GitHub. But first, let's talk about why building a client is always the better option. When developers upload their clients to GitHub, they can add a release of said client to the releases tab. Unfortunately, at this point in time, GitHub has no prevention methods to stop developers from uploading other random jar files. Basically, what a client dev with malicious intent might do is upload the code for his client without any malicious code in it. However, he will then add the bad code to the client and build it into a jar file. He would then upload the malicious jar file to the releases tab. The majority of client users don't understand Java or even GitHub and just download the pre-compiled malicious jar file. With this all being said, building a client does not necessarily make it safe. If the developer has hidden malware in the code, compiling it yourself will make no difference. You will just be compiling the bad code, effectively ratting yourself. It is also important to keep in mind not all clients are built the same. This tutorial is only for clients built with Gradle. Often clients will have instructions on building them in their readme sections. If you are trying to build a clean Phobos or other clients like Zulu, I would recommend using GoPro 336's releases on GitHub. The majority of his releases are buildable with this method. I am not going to show you how to build other clients that are not built using Gradle, as they require more Java knowledge and additional software like IntelliJ for example. to build a client yourself you need to download and set up a few things. To start off you need to download and install Java JDK. Almost all of the 1.12.2 clients run on Java 8. You might be thinking, I already installed Java when I downloaded Minecraft. And while you may have installed Java, this would likely have been the JRE version, which cannot be used to build a client. Now you're probably asking what the difference between Java JDK and JRE is. Well, JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment, and this is required for Java applications to run on your operating system. JDK, however, stands for Java Development Kit. This is required to develop, or in our case, build a client. To start off, use the link in the description and click on the version of Java JDK that matches your operating system. In my case, I am selecting Windows 64-bit installer. Now click accept and click the download button. Unfortunately, Oracle has a terrible website and in order to download the JDK, you have to register an account. If you do not already own an account, click the create an account button and then come back to this page once you have an account. To sign into your account, enter the email you used on sign up and then enter your password. I have often had issues with the page not loading after signing in. To fix this, I usually connect to a VPN and reload the page. Once you have downloaded the JDK, double click it to run the install. Halfway through, you get the option to change the install directory. I personally am going to leave it in the program file slash java folder, but you can move it anywhere you like, just make sure to remember where you installed it. Once you are finished with the install, you have to add java underscore home to your system variables. Skipping this step will result in failed builds. There are a few ways of doing this, but I am going to show you the method I use. To start, right click the Windows Start icon and click on System. In the window that opens, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on Advanced System Settings. This will open another window. From here, we need to add a system variable. To do this, click Environment Variables and under the System Variables, click New. For the variable name, you need to type Java underscore Home, all in caps. Now, you need to remember where you installed the Java JDK to. In my case, I need to navigate to my C drive, program files, Java. Here you will see I have both the JDK and JRE installed. We need to open the JDK folder. Once you have finished, click OK to close the window. OK again to close the environment variables window. And again, click OK to close the system properties window. As a demonstration for this video, I'm going to build GoPro's Oive release. To start off, download the whole project as a zip. I am using WinRAR, but this actually isn't required. Once the zip has downloaded, extract the contents into a folder. 
Open this folder and click on the directory navigation panel. This should highlight everything. Type cmd and press enter. This will open that folder in the command prompt. Now you'll need to type the following commands, one by one. The commands are in the description for you to copy and paste. Once a command finishes, enter the next one into the terminal and press enter until all of the commands are finished. If you receive an error saying failure build failed with an exception, try and run the command again. If you continue to receive this error, the client may not be buildable with this method or you did not enter your system variable incorrectly. Please keep in mind the first time building a client will take significantly longer as your computer downloads all of the necessary dependencies. Once the final command says build successful, open the folder you extracted to, open the build folder and then open the libs folder. Here you will find two jar files. The one you want will have release in its name. Copy the jar file to your mods folder and run a new instance of forge. You have now successfully built your first client. If you are having issues, please leave a comment below and I'll try my best to help you. I'm sorry it took me so long to make this video. I originally said I would make it a few months ago, but if I'm being honest, I completely forgot. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking it and maybe even subscribing. Huge shout out to my members and Patreon who help me make content like this. Anyways, it has been your boy Carlab, peace in the Middle East.